Hey everyone, it's Matt here with the Matt Allen Real Estate Team. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. We got a good one for you today. We are talking about insurance, how it affects the home buyer, how it affects the home seller. And I'm especially pleased to present to you, we, we brought on one of the best in the area for insurance to kind of talk about from his perspective, uh, how the insurance is playing out in the home buying and home selling process. Chris, welcome to the uh, uh, show, I guess we'd call it. It's not really a podcast, it's a video sh video YouTube channel. Uh, this is Chris Smith from the Brewer Agency. How's it going, Chris? Good, man. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Glad to uh, share some fun insurance knowledge with everybody. The favorite yeah. topic. Yeah, we got... Chris and I got to know each other through, uh, actually his wife is, uh, or was at one point my son's, uh, teacher and we got to know each other through there. Um, Chris has been doing insurance for quite a while. You want to tell them just a little bit about what, where, how you came to be in the insurance business, Chris? Yeah. Well, I, um, so before I did insurance, I worked at a church uh, and I had a lot of late nights. And as the family started to uh, grow, we kind of decided I need a more you know, stable nine to five job instead of working towards eight, eight o'clock every night. Um, so that was part of it. And then I just uh, me personally, I have a drive to try and help people. Um, so this could kind of, you know, fit uh, check two things off the box that I, I was looking for. Um, so we, I got a great partner that uh, I work with who um, really, uh, he was actually one of my coaches that I used to work for me and now I kind of work for him. So it's, oh, uh, it's a awesome. great little partnership. Yeah. He was a, a family that went to, went to the school as well. And, and so they go to our church and, and they're uh, we got a great little team set up here. So it's, it's a good atmosphere. We're able to, to try and just uh, help everybody the the best we can. Gotcha. Tell tell us where you're located. So if you are in Central Florida and you are in need of insurance, whether you're you're a homeowner uh, looking for for a new policy or you're re-upping and want to shop pricing whatnot, Chris, tell yeah. them a little bit about where you are. And yeah, we're so we're on the corner of uh, Conroy and Windermere, uh, right in the Dr. Phillips area. Um, but we're basically, we're able to write all over Florida. So it doesn't matter if you're in the panhandle or down in Miami, we can, we can help you out. But our office is, uh, right in the Julian properties, right on the corner of Conroy and Windermere. Tell me a little bit about what makes your insurance a little different than say, if you were to go to a state farm, uh, um, yeah. you know, cause that, that the brewer agency is not, not a state farm or not a farmer's, uh, they are I guess what we consider as a broker, correct? Yeah, right. So we're we're a brokerage. We we operate with the Goosehead brokerage. Their corporate office is in Texas, uh, but we've got all the Florida lines that they have. And basically, how this works is you would call in and tell me what's going on, whether it's a, a new property or you're you're shopping. And I've got basically 25 different home carriers instead of like a state farm that might have citizens and state farm and not everything can qualify in those two things. So there's a lot of gap that they'll miss out on where I've basically got the whole entire market um, almost at my fingertips. So um, I'm going to be able to find you probably about at least five options that we can kind of talk through and, and make sure that these are are fitting what you need. Um, and also getting you the most competitive price, which, you know, everybody's really concerned about. Sure. Sure. I mean, the market has definitely changed. And that was one of the reasons I thought this would be a poignant topic today because insurance has played such a big role in buying and selling of property here in central Florida. I always say years ago, uh, we would, um, it'd be more of an afterthought at the, at, you know, four or five days before closing, we'd say, just don't forget to get in home insurance for your property. And we're now I'm actually going into houses with a thought in mind, or even before I go in, when I'm setting up showings, is this house, uh, going to be able to acquire home insurance? And, and maybe that's the question I'm asking Chris is tell us a little bit about what has changed a little bit in the insurance market specifically with home insurance here in central florida yeah well just 
over the last couple years, the the real big thing that's happened is the the roof age. Everybody's concerned about the roof age, so it it doesn't uh, doesn't matter how like how long your your clay tile roof or or shingle roof. However, like if you got a fifty year shingle roof, that doesn't matter anymore. They want to know how many years has that roof been on, and so that's kind of a big driving point um, yeah. with you know with shingle roofs, you know. You got some companies that they'll only take five years or newer. Some companies will only take 10 years or newer. Um, you know, you got some that'll do 15 or newer and you got hardly any that'll take some that are 20. If once you get to that 15 to 20 mark, that roof is, it's going to get tough to find insurance. You're either going yeah. to citizens or we've got to find an off market um, insurance carrier that'll, that'll take it. Tile roofs are, you know, that one's the real tough one, especially when you get up to 30 years, you know, you, yeah. the most insurance companies will take it at 25, but the roofs are big. That's a big change. That's really hit us is, is everybody's um, really starting to go after the roof here. How long has that roof been on, yeah. um, on that house? I see it every day. And, and that's something we look at, you know, when we set up showings, um, and not only from the, the, the buyer standpoint, um, I recently had a, a listing appointment with a seller that was concerned about that as well, because the roof we think was older than that 20, 25 year range. Um, and how does he sell that house? And, and that's become a challenge as well as how do you sell that to somebody who's got to acquire new insurance? He's, he's currently insured, but for how long, we just don't know. Um, but how does somebody uh, do that? Have you run into that a lot, Chris, as far as, you know, either somebody selling or buying and, and that roof is too old. So, so what kind of avenues do you take with a, with a client like that? Yeah. So if, if somebody's, somebody's buying a, a new house for them and that roof is, is a little up there, we've definitely had some of those situations. There's a, a couple things that you can kind of go with, um, you know, if it's a, a shingle roof that's 20 years old, you know, it's just time to replace it. So yep. my advice to the, the the buyer is, hey, you're going to either have to work in and negotiate a new roof with the seller or you're just going to have to we're going to have to take this insurance. That's going to be uh, very basic. Um, it'll give you what's called actual cash value on the roof if they'll even take it. Um, or I've got to find another policy that's just going to exclude the roof altogether. And then we'll get past closing and then you put the new roof on and then we can find something better. So it's, there are ways that we can get around it. They're not always the most affordable, um, yeah. but at least we can have something. Um, it's uh, the roof definitely presents a challenge and you, you got to, kind of work with the seller to figure out, is there an avenue where we can make this happen? Um, or do we kind of have to get creative on the insurance side to, to get us to that closing table and figure out what policy is actually going to take this house and is going to qualify with the loan as well. Right. And that's, I was going to make that point. If you are financing, you know, uh, most more or all lenders that I'm aware of are requiring you to have homeowners insurance and, I guess the question then comes, if you find that policy that excludes the roof, is that going to be acceptable for the lender? So they all kind of interplay in, in this. Um, and again, from a, a seller standpoint, I want to make that point. It's It makes your house much more sellable if your house is insurable. Obviously, that's a, a fairly simplistic way of saying it. But so do those, th get those repairs done. If you've got uh, old plumbing that needs to be replaced, make sure you, you take care of that before you put your house on the market. I know a roof is a big ticket item. Um, some roofing companies do offer financing on that, that you could probably pay off at closing. Um, but try to get that done ahead of time because it's much easier to uh, market a house that has a brand new roof than one that's, you know, we're going to struggle with to, um, you know, get insurance on. So, yeah. Um, what are some tips for home buyers when they're looking at a house, Chris? Um, you know, to to make sure not just the roof, but other things. Are there things they should be looking at? I know we use the four point. Um, yeah. 
you want to touch on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So basically, four point inspection is gonna is basically looking at the four main areas of the house um, that the insurance is really concerned with. So it's the electrical system. It's gonna be the um, plumbing, the water heater. It, they're going to look at the AC system and they're going to look at the roof, obviously. So we want to yep. make sure the roof is in good condition. Um, the, the plumbing, we want to make sure that there's no polybutylene in the house. Polybutylene is a policy killer. It, yes. I, don't, I only know one company that will take it and the premium is really not that pretty. Um, it's going to be limited on a lot of coverages. So, it, you know, the polybutylene, if you have that in your house, especially if you're you're selling or buying you want to make sure that that's taken care of and replaced um because you're you're not going to have many options it's going to really hurt you yeah. um the the days of farmers taking polybutylene is gone because they they've left so yeah. um electrical you Speaking want to look somebody at, who has farmers and that have left <laughs> and we got our notice yeah, yeah. not too long uh, ago so i'll be calm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so we uh the electrical you want to look at that four point make sure there's no aluminum wires if there's aluminum wires that's another one you're not gonna you're not gonna have any coverage on if it has aluminum wires you can get what's called alumicons to uh, basically mitigate that and hmm. then some companies will then take you on because you have the alumicons most likely it's it's just going to be citizens um but that's an that's an option to kind of instead of replacing it, you get the Illumicons, and then we can at least get you with Citizens fairly easily. Um, when, when you talk about Citizens, and, and this will be good for the people that are listening, um, some people don't realize what Citizens is or or how that that plays in. Can you just touch on that for about thirty seconds? Yeah, yeah. So. So everybody says Citizens is the insurance of last resort. It's, you know, it's the state run insurance that we have here in Florida. Um, you know, it's it's backed by the state. So the good thing about that is it's not going anywhere. You're not going to have any issues with it leaving the state like farmers or, um, you know, some of the I think the last three years we lost 16 different insurance companies, wow. something like oh, that. So I mean, yeah, give or take a couple. I could be a little off on no. that, but we lost a lot. Um, so it's, it's not going anywhere. It's going to cover your house. Um, you know, are there a little bit of headaches with citizens? Yeah, maybe some people have really good experiences with it. Some people have some headaches, so it's just kind of, um, it's what you're looking for in your insurance. Got it. Um, you know, they're going to be a kind of catch all for most houses, especially with some of those aluminum wire issues They and roof issues. They'll be a little lenient on that. Um, so as long as it has five years left on the house, they, uh, they'll most of the time take that roof. And so it's, it's a little easier. It's kind of a, it's a first step and Hey, let's get to closing with citizens and figure out what's going on with your sure. roof. And then, then we can move to a, a little better policy with better coverage. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, I don't want to make this too long. So I got just one more question to you. Um, and, and it has to do with the future of insurance in Central Florida. Where do you see things going over the next, let's call it five years? Um, yeah. Do you think things are going to continue to tighten, or loosen up a little bit? Do you see new carriers coming in, or what is your perspective on that? Yeah, as so, there's a lot in there. So with Florida right now, and Central Florida, real specifically, we're getting so many people into the state. And with these people come, all these people coming in, it puts a strain on the insurance companies. There's, there's, like I said, we lost so many carriers. There's only so many that can take on all these people. So right. it, it gets to a place where um, there's just not enough competition, not enough insurance carriers. So the price goes up as well as inflation is making the price go up. So yes. everybody's seeing their rates go up. Um, and those are all part of the problem. The, you know, more people means more claims, more claims mean the insurance has to pay out more money. So right. they've got to bring it in somehow. So you're, everybody's insurance goes up. Um, you know, central Florida, we're a tough market right now. We're starting to get to, you know, we're not quite Miami, but we're, you know, we're knocking on the door where we're, we yeah. can be a little tough to, to get on. 
um, get insurance with. But I think that we'll start to get a little better. Um, I think it's going to take some time. The um, they put a couple laws in place um, that are going to help, but it's going to take time for us to feel those the yeah. benefits of those laws. Um, and then really we're getting, I know a couple new carriers, I think four within the end of 2025 that are coming okay. in and That's those new carriers, um, you know, we'll see what their restrictions are for central Florida, but um, you know, the new more carriers that come in, the better that the market will feel and, and yep. the more options people will have. And, and the, hopefully the they'll, they'll bring the rates back down a little bit, but we got to get uh, you know, inflation is, is one that's really kind of, hurting us right, right now for sure with everything well that's yeah. great um any last tips anything you want to share quick you know before we end yeah just uh really the big thing is it used to be insurance was kind of the last thing that you would do in the home buying process yeah. now it's one of the first because there's dti issues and with with all the prices going up you want to find a good insurance agent that is going to talk with you pick up the phone um and work through all the issues that might be on the house whether whether it's a brand new house or it's a you know 1950s home that you need to try and find something you want to find somebody that's going to work with you and walk alongside you um and really help you out whether you're you're buying or selling there's always something that we got to work through um yep. make sure that things are permitted that's a big thing if it doesn't have a permit we can't prove that it happened all the time so it's much easier if things are permitted that's huge and, and i talk about that a lot in my videos to make sure if you're doing any improvement to a house that requires a permit acs roofing uh, anything like that, make sure you're pulling that permit. So great advice, Chris. Um, I'll let you just tell me real quick. We're going to put his, his contact details down in the description, but do you want to just give them a quick telephone number and email? Yeah. Yeah. So our, uh, telephone number here at the office, 321-677-1701. And then feel free. You can email us over at Chris dot l dot smith at goosehead.com and then we can uh, help you out and answer any questions that you might have awesome hey man i really appreciate taking the time to talk with us today uh if you're new to our channel as i always say like subscribe hit that button um i'm going to try to bring on more uh professionals in the field so uh you can get another perspective on certain topics Chris, thanks again for joining us today. Um, uh, again, his, his contact details will be in the description. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Chris. Hey, guys. Thanks.